Hello again and welcome back to the Blender Basics course where we're making a low poly car. If you haven't already, look at parts 1 and 2. In this section we'll be adding textures and colouring our car. So the very first thing to do is to change the cycles render from Blender render. So up here we change it to cycles and that gives us slightly different options when we come to add our materials. Next we'll select an object that we want to texture. Let's start with the wheels. Right click to select and your material panel is here. Click on this icon and click new and it's created a new material which is white at the moment and let's simply change that to dark grey. Now we can't see anything at the moment because we're in solid mode under the renderer so we can go down here and change this to material and there we go there's our dark grey texture. Now if you want to give the other wheels the same texture, you select each of them, right click and then shift right click the other ones and select the one you want to grab the material from last, right click on that and press Control L as in link to link the materials and there we go, they've all got that material. Now if you want one section of the object to have a different material, so my wheel is going to have a hubcap, you can go into edit mode and select that face which is already selected in this case and add a material slot so not add here that's adding a whole new material this is adding a material slot just up here and so there's my basic material and here's a new material that I can put in create a new material and we'll make it a silvery color so slightly blue we'll cover reflections later and that'll be fine with this face selected press assign so it's assigned that material to that face I can do the same for the other ones. So select the face, add a new material, and I can now select a material I've already made just here, and then press assign. Okay, so you can do the same this side. Now I've accidentally assigned it to the whole shape. So what I can do is uh, instead of trying to select all the rest of the mesh, I can go down to my select menu and click inverse, which is control I and then assign the correct material to the outside of the mesh. And tab to get out of edit mode, so I'll change the other objects in the same way. Now when you change over to cycles you might get this option of use nodes. Uh, if you do just press use nodes and then the normal uh, textures will come up. I'm not liking my silvery colour, it's a bit too blue so I can click on that, bring it away from the blue a little bit, it's a bit more silvery now. It's also updating these ones because they share the same material. With the car I want to select the window and give that a different texture. Choose a new material slot again, press new and I'll give that a dark blue and make it look like a window and then press assign. And back into object mode. Lastly let's texture the lights. Now they're going to have a different material. You click on one of the lights and press new and what we've been using so far is called a diffuse, which is a material that's just got a color and no reflection. It does still react to light, but it doesn't reflect any image. So what I'm going to do is change this one to emission, and I'm going to change the color to slightly yellow. Now we can't see anything at the moment because the emission shader won't show up until you render it. So for this one, I want to share the material, so shift click, control L, and link the materials. And there we have it, our textured car, in the next section, I'll go through rendering. 